In math, sometimes we have to write mathematical proofs, and these are very similar to computer programs, and this is a great example showing this. Here we're given two numbers a and b, and we're asked to find some number m, it's probably different, so that if you take any number between a and b, it's guaranteed that that absolute value of that number x has to be strictly less than your number m. The one word that comes to mind in computer programming is the word return, and so we're given numbers a and b, and we have to return some value of m that meets the required condition. I think the programming angle on this is really helpful for students because we might think of the user as inputting a and b, and we know that the user might put in numbers we might not expect. Right, for instance, I know from working with students, the first guess they all think of is just taking b plus 1. After all, if x is less than b, it's definitely strictly less than b plus 1. And that works totally fine if your inputs are positive. If a and b are positive numbers, then sure, just take the right endpoint and add 1. But what if you've got negative numbers? Well, actually, it still works here, negative 4 and 7. If we take the right endpoint and we add 1, any number in that interval, if we take the absolute value, it will still be strictly less than 8. What about if we have something down here? Now, if I know x is between negative 20 and positive 7, it's not going to be true that the absolute value of x is strictly less than 8. In fact, x could be negative 19, and that absolute value is going to be quite a bit larger than 8. So in this case, I think once a student sees it, they would say, oh, well, I would just take a number like 21, or down here I would take a number like 31. So when you go to fill in the proof, you have to give your explanation, your reasons why this number will work, and probably you're going to go through like different cases, depending on maybe whether the numbers are positive or negative. You might use words like take the bigger of the two. Um, you might just find some one-line formula that does it. There are pros and cons of writing things this way, like one pro of a shorter formula is it gets a shorter proof, but it might be harder for the reader to understand why that works, and you you may have to give more explanation. What would be your favorite way to write this computer code or write the proof?